Fox 5 is sponsored by Ed Bernstein. Enough said. Call Ed. Just a couple of minutes ago, we brought you a story about a judge in Tennessee who ordered a name change for a baby named Messiah. Now, she says her decision was made because, in her words, quote, Messiah is a title that has earned, been earned by only one person, Jesus Christ. Well, originally, the judge was supposed to be deciding on a last name between the boy's quarreling parents, but instead left out his first name and gave the boy both of his parents' last names. Our legal expert, Bob Massey, is joining us now with his reaction to the story, and I heard you making some noise while the story was was rolling. So I can only guess what you think about this decision. Well, I mean, it's, you know, she could, if she just would have said, I'm going to take Martin, put it as the first mm -hmm. name of the, one of the last parents, say, and just leave it alone, she'd have been fine. I mean, that makes sense. Right. Make it easy. Mm -hmm. But then when she starts giving her opinion as to why, that just crossed the line. I mean, that's just, that is just completely inappropriate. I think most judges that you would interview would say that it's inappropriate. And so as a result, she's, she's going to get hammered, I'm sure, by the chancellor, the, the appellate judge, will hammer because she stepped outside the bounds. Right. As a parent, I can't imagine what that predicament might be. You're told mm -hmm. by a judge something that you have Very to tough. do. I mean, it, it would... It's forceful. Right. If the person wears the robe. They're, they're, they're the queen, in this case, of the room. And so you have to listen. It's their eminent domain, if mm -hmm. you will. Number one... They have the First Amendment right to name their child and name They have the fundamental right, Constitution, as a parent. As parents, they have the rights and responsibilities so they can name the child as they want. And to my knowledge, there's no judge that has the right to dictate to a parent why and what name they should have. And beyond that, how about separation of church and state right. here, okay? It'd I mean, be one it, thing if this was a curse word yeah, or I mean, something that, that could be likened to some sort of a, abuse just, or it's putting your child in a bad situation. Yeah. I mean, look, from a practical perspective, you know, maybe maybe it could be uncomfortable mm -hmm. for a child to be named Messiah. Maybe. I don't how do I know? But you know what? It's none of our business. Right. It's none of that judge's business. And so as a result of that, first of all, I'm sure most judges would say it makes it look bad for all the judges because many of them work very hard every day to render justice accordingly. But and when you interview this woman, I mean you could see. Right. This is this is a very religious, mm -hmm. right wing Christian, not the wrong Christianity, don't misunderstand me, but somebody who is abusing, taking her, her, person, yes. her personal belief into a into a courtroom, again, separation of church and state. Not good. Can you imagine the, any other lawyer in the room who would have heard this happening? And Jaws must have been hitting the floor. No question. Because don't forget, they were there to try to resolve a child support dispute and other issues. <laughs> this judge says, by the way, there's only one Messiah, that's Jesus Christ. That's her belief, and she has every right to believe that. But that's not your job to tell a parent. And again, as you said, and really the most telling thing is exactly what you said. What's a parent going to do? This is the judge. Right. You're not going to get mad at the judge. You get mad at the judge, all of a sudden the judge, well, this judge, hits the gavel and says, oh, by the way, this is what it's going to be. So it's a bad, and, and I'm... I would have been afraid they'd take the kid away. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's, there's no capable rational of, thought there. <laughs> capable of. There's no connection. Your synapses are gone. Something's wrong. And so the other question is going to be, I'm wondering if this breaches some judicial canons of ethics. Sure. And that probably could be brought up by the chancellor judge at some point. If there is an update, we will certainly bring oh, it yeah. to you. Oh, yeah. This is one of those stories you got to cover. I know. This is crazy. Bob, thank you so much. My Good pleasure. to see you this always. Monday. As always, you can send your comments and questions inside the lot. Bob Gout, Matthew, Fox5Vegas.com.